How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here and I want to talk to you about the newest motherboards out there for Intel's newest chipset, the 13th generation, which will be Intel's Z790 boards. I want to talk to you about the key differences between the two, about the Z690 and the Z790. And I'll tell you right now, if you already own a Z690 chipset motherboard, whether it's Asus's Gigabytes or Acerox or any of the other manufacturers that has created a Z690 board, more than likely, you're probably not going to want to upgrade your motherboard. There's only minute details that has changed over from the Z790. More than likely, it's going to be features that you're not going to be interested in. I'm going to get straight into it. First, I'm going to go over Intel's Z690 chipset block diagram. If you look over onto the left screen, you can see that the processor is powering a PCI Express 5.0 lane by 16, or it can power two 8x PCI Express 5.0 lanes, and it does have four independent DP HDMI displays. The biggest difference I got to say over here, just pay attention to this part right here because this is what's going to differ from the Z690 and the Z790 motherboard. DDR5 is up to 4,800 mega transfers per second and DDR4 is up to 3,200 mega transfers per second. So let's go over next to the Intel's Z790 block diagram here. You're going to notice mostly the same information, especially on the left side as you saw earlier. Now, if you look on the right side, the only difference is you got DDR5 that's up to 5600 mega transfers per second. It does also mention DDR4 3200 mega transfers per second. So as you can see, there's not that much difference from the processor side, but they did add on the right side of it that it also powers up to 16 times PCI Express 5.0, a four times PCI Express 4.0. Now let's get more into the actual chipset of the Z690 first, as up to 12 to PCI Express 4.0, and it has up to 16 times for PCI Express 3.0, as eight times SATA six gigabytes. And as you go further down the list, you can see the different USBs, the different types of internet that can be used. So you go over to the Z790, the chipset block diagram side, you notice that it, there's only subtle differences up to 20 by PCI Express 4.0. And then you also have eight by PCI Express 3.0 versus the 16 by PCI Express 3.0, as originally mentioned from the Z690 chipset and the 12 by PCI Express 4.0 over the actual 20 that it does mention. You'll notice the SATA ports, everything on the bottom end of it is practically the same from the motherboard standpoint. And if you look onto the right hand side, you'll also notice some differences here or a slight improvement such as Intel Optane memory with solid state drive, which was originally mentioned on the Z690 block diagram versus 19 times or later. So the Z690 also has the Intel smart sound technology and Intel high definition audio. It also mentions that it has Intel rapid storage technology with RAID and Intel rapid storage technology for PCI Express storage. If you look on the Z790, it doesn't mention as much when it comes to the solid state or RAID drives. It does have memory overclocking. It does have an integrated sensor hub and it does have SPI, ESPI, SM bus, HD audio. And if you look over on the Z690 side as Intel Me firmware, platform trust technology, and has extreme tuning utility support. If you look at both diagrams there, it's mostly the same. It's just rebranded into a Z790. There's subtle differences, as I mentioned, but I can tell you this, if you are planning to upgrade and you have a older chipset, just say if you don't have, you have a Z490 and you want to upgrade to the next generation. And if you do, that's great because you do have, you probably still have your DDR4. And the good thing about Intel's next generation of motherboards here, they will have motherboards that are capable to use a DDR4. You won't be forced to upgrade to DDR5 if you don't want to. In fact, the leaker 188 known as Momo underscore US does bring this up for mention. He mentions that the upcoming motherboards from Asus such as the Prime Z790M plus D4 and the Prime Z790P D4 the Z790P Wi-Fi D4, and also the Tough Gaming Z790 Plus D4, all those motherboards will have DDR4 compatibility. There is also another leak from an actual manual from one of these motherboard manufacturers. I believe it's Asus's, but I'm not 100% certain. Thanks to videocards.com for getting this information or the screenshot. As you can see, it can support up to 128 gigabytes and its maximum overclock frequency can go up to 
5,333 megahertz. That tells you right there that they do have the capability of having DDR4 if you choose to upgrade your system and keep your RAM sticks and you just wanna move into a new system. That'll be great for you, especially if you're just looking to upgrade your motherboard, your CPU, and you can just bring everything else over. So another question you probably have is, will Z690 and Z790 be LGA 1700? And they both are. Whether you're getting a Intel i9 generation 12 or you get that intel i9 generation 13 they will both be lga 1700 compatible so you won't have any issues if you choose to get a processor for either motherboard if you just want to get a z690 you don't really care for the newest features of a motherboard i don't blame you it makes more sense and you probably could get it on the cheap compared to a z790 whichever motherboard that you do upgrade to you will see a significant improvement especially with the newer technology that it has another subtle difference that i do have to mention especially if you're debating whether to get a z690 or a z790 the z790 will have more of an m2 drive that does have pci express 5.0 so you can have those NVMe speeds of 5.0 without actually getting a expansion card using one of like Asus's card for the actual speed of PCI Express 5.0. Instead, the motherboard will have it built in. That is a true advantage that you'll have if you don't want to use the expansion card to take up one of your PCI Express 5.0 slots. There's a couple things I do want to mention with the Z690 that it does have. And for those that are looking for either a Z690 or a Z790, I will mention specifically some specifications you can go over and choose for whichever that you would like. For example, the Z690 does feature a socket LGA 1700, of course, and we'll use ASUS's board, for example. It does have AI overclocking, AI cooling, uh, etc. And it does have 20 by plus one team power stage for 90 amps. It does have power cool connectors. A lot of these newer Z690 motherboards do have PCB layers of up to about six layers of PCBs. It does feature newer ARGBs and they do have the newer designs which make it a lot more easier to work such as the M2 drives that you do install into the motherboard. Instead of actually having the screw, they do have the quick connects for that or the quick latches for your NVMEs or your even your graphics cards, your video cards, you can just pop that in which is really useful. So let's go over this chart real quick of what is the biggest differences that we mentioned so far such as 12 gens core desktop processors versus the 13th generation of Intel core desktop processors. And that's the processor core threads, for example. The 12th generation, Alder Lake will have 16 cores and up to 24 threads, eight performance cores and eight efficiency cores versus 24 cores and 32 threads, which will have eight performance cores and 16 efficiency cores. The IO is practically similar as it goes from PCI Express 5.0, CPU of PCI Express 4.0. It does mention USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2. This is another subtle difference. It will have one extra USB usage for the 13th generation. And again, this is more processor than the actual motherboard. It goes with either a Z690 or a Z790, whichever processor that you choose to lay uh, into your motherboard. And also a key component here, it goes up to DDR4 3200 megahertz, and it does have DDR5 up to 5600 megahertz over the 4800 megahertz as originally. And as you look over the chart, those are the main key differences between the two processes. And the 13th generation will be much more beefed up compared to Alder Lake. I mean, it's a Raptor. How can a Lake beat a Raptor? So those are the key differences that I can say about the two. And there will be much more officially announced coming up tomorrow on September 27th of 2022. You can see the Z790 motherboards officially announced and you can take a look and see if those are the type of motherboards that you would like versus the Z690. I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you know anybody else who is into PC and tech, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful man, man, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fam bam guys, are you gonna purchase a Z790 motherboard or are you on the fence? You already have a Z690 motherboard and you don't really care to upgrade your motherboard. Instead, you're just gonna get the 
newest processor out there, the Intel 13th generation. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Vizo signing out.